Hello kids, how are you today? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my tutorial channel. And I am your teacher for today's lesson, Teacher Arlene. Our subject for today is Science 6. And we are now in Quarter 1, Module 2, Lesson 3, entitled Separating Mixtures Through Decantation. The module is about separating mixture through decantation. After going through this module, you are expected to separate mixture through decantation. Okay, so get ready children with your science module, your paper, and of course, your ball pen. But before we start with our lesson, we should say thank you to all the people who share the knowledge and talent for us. In what I know, the direction. You are going to answer this question in this what I know. Write P for the mixture can be separated by picking. Katong a uh, mixture nga imuha lang is separate through the use of your hand. Kay puniton ra man nimo mapunit ra siya. Uh, if if by uh, E for evaporation, F by filtration, G by decantation and M by magnet. Okay. Do it in your science uh, answer sheets. Number 1. Fruit salad, we have here mixture of water and salt. Number three, coconut milk. Four, sea water. Five, water and sand. Six, sand and nail. Seven, rice grain and stone. Eight, water and sugar. Nine, baking powder and water. And number ten, pebbles, mango seeds, and rice grain. Okay, what your what is your answer in number one? Fruit salad. Okay, letter P. You can separate mixtures in fruit salad by means of picking or using by your hand. Number two, mixture of water and salt. Answer is E, meaning evaporation. E by evaporation. Coconut milk. Can you use? Uh, you can separate mixture through filtering or F. Number four, sea water. How are you going to separate mixture? By using the method of evaporation. Number five, water and salt. Answer is decantation. A water and sand. Decantation. Sand and nail. Of course, nail is a metal, so we are going to use Magnet. M for magnet. Number seven, rice grain and stone. The answer is picking. P for, for picking. Uh, in rice grain and in the mixture of rice grain and stone, pwede rin ni mo puniton ang stone kay mas dagpo man siya kay sa rice grain. So, my answer kay picking. Use your hands by means of picking or by uh, separating this mixture rice grain and stone number eight water and sugar f for filtering number nine baking powder and water is again filtering and number ten pebbles mango seeds and rice grain of course picking okay Let's go to the separating mixture. Lesson 3, separating mixture through decantation. So, uh, there are many ways of separating mixtures. Okay. So, um, adunay daghang mga pamaagi sa pagbulag sa mga sangkap sa sagol ang mga uh, the heterogeneous mixtures can be separated by physical manipulation 
Ang heterogeneous mixture daw, mahimong mabulag inaagi sa pisikal nga pagmaniobra. Then, a dissolved solid in liquid can be separated by filtration. Ang dili matunaw nga solid or kaning undissolved solid sa likido mahimong mabulag pa maagpi naagi sa pagsala or money siya gitawag na filtration. Okay, components of sus suspension can be separated by decantation. Ang mga sangkap sa suspension mahimong mabulag kini pinaagi sa decantation. Elements in solution can be separated by evaporation or distillation. Ang mga elemento sa solution mahimong mabulag pinaagi sa evaporation o dist distillation. And mixtures of metals and nonmetals can be separated by magnetism. O ang, pina o ang mga pinag panagsagol sa mga metal or nonmetal Mahimong mabulag kini pinaagi sa magnetismo or magnetism. Okay. Substances in different mixtures are usually separated from one another using a certain meth process or method. Ang mga substansya sa lailaing mga sagol kasagarang gibulag ikan sa usag-usa gamit ang usaka tama nga proseso. Okay. The method used depends on the type of mixtures. Ang pamaagi nga gigamit nagdepende sa mat matang sa sagol. Okay. Hinaot nga nasabtan ninyo ang explanation dere about sa decantation. Okay. Ito na ta sa lain. So, kay ani na ta sa what's in? Right now in what's in? Then, away nyo mga module children. Observe the following pictures. Find out how mixtures can be separated. Okay. So, then, away diri sa ato ang picture or that's atong illustration. Mixtures of oil and water. Okay. Gisagol na to ang tubig o ang oil. So, kung makita na to sama sa atong example sa atong previous nga mga a ways of or method of separating mixture na na siyang oil o water. So, ang oil kay mo, mo ano gini siya no? Mo lutaw or mag float. Okay. So, the use of decantation, how are we going to separate oil from water? Okay. So, pwede ni mo ni siya nga uh, imo siya magamit kag another container mo ni siya. Tapos, imong ihinay-hinay o huwad o inay-hinay ni mo o pour diri as sa lain na container para ang, ang katong oil ma-separate na siya sa tubig. Okay. So, mauni siya ang explanation diri ang ha, illustration. So, unsa magigamit niya nga process in separating this mixture. Okay. Ang atong lesson kay... It is decantation. Mauni ang iyang gigamit ang decantation. Okay. Dari na po ta sa lain na illustration. Okay. Kaninga mixture dari children kay mud o water katong lapok good. Ang lapok o tubig isagol niya dari sa isa ka container. Tapos, how are we going to separate the two mixtures, mixtures or the two substances, ang water o ang mud. So, imuha sa na siyang i-set aside or imuha sa na siyang ibutang dira sa daplin. Dili na ni mo istorbuhon, diha lang sa siya. Para katung mud or katung lapo mo settle or mo sink or mo tidlum na siya dari sa bottom of the glass or the container. So, mo sink na siya, tapos mag-float na na, umugawas na ng tubig, no? So, mag-float, pag-float pag anak sa tubig, that's the time nga imuha na siyang i-butang dito sa another container, hinay-hinayo na po na ni mo siya o uh, kanang huwad sa another container. 
ang mud of water, pwede po niya sa process na filtration. Pero sa decantation, ato ay siyang tagahan o justice dere sa decantation para o ipakita po na to ninyo kung unsa saan siya nga pag-separate sa mixture with the use of decantation. So, inunana siya ang pagbuhat. Ta, okay. Glass rod help in decantation. Okay, gibutangan siya o uh, glass rod dere a ah, para dilik dayon dayon siya masagol sa another substance. Okay, manin siya ang paghuwad. Tapos, okay, dari na po sa another illustration. Uh, water of pebbles. Kato mga gagmay nga mga bato. Gisagol na siya sa tubig. No? Ang saan na to na siya pag separate sa mixture nga dili ni maapil o, o kahuwad o dili na siya maapil dito sa tubig. O magamit ang another container, tapos hinahina yun lang na ito. Kuha dito sa uh, lain na container ang tubig para mabilin lang dito uh, ang pebbles or katumagag may nga bato. Okay? So, nasabtan ang method sa decantation. Okay, I hope so. So, mato pata sa unahan para... Masabtan jud ninyo kung unsa ni siya ang decantation. Okay, we are now in what's new. So, what's new, mo ni siya ang Okay. So, murag uh, so what's new, mixture of oil. So, maulang to gihapon siya no sa what's in. Okay, so what's new? Uh, sediment, muna ni siya, tapos undissolved solid. Okay, explain na na ako ni siya gaganina. Uh, sige. Okay, decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a dense one. In the process of decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. When the components are separated, the less dense substance could be removed by, by scooping using a spoon or it can be removed by slowly pouring out the less dense substance. Oil in water could be removed using a decantation technique. The fats that float in your sinigang could be removed by decantation or scooping. Some of the mixtures that can be separated by decantation are the following a oil in water b gasoline in water c sinigang with floating fats and d mud and water okay so ang decantation daw maoy usa ka technique nga gigamit sa pagbulag sa sa dili kaayo dasok nga substance gikan sa dasok mo ni siya katong dense o less dense katong dasok mo toy dense Uh, makita ninyo dito, children, sa mud and water, kung gihalo pa ni mo siya, kung wala pa ni mo gi, gi set aside, so, ang substan ad to kay dense pa kay siya, or ka nang, uh, ay ka nang, kuan siya, ka nang dasok ba? Oh, medyo dasok-dasok pa siya. Okay. So, para ma-less dense siya, imuha na to siyang iset aside na undisturbed. Okay. Uh, sa proseso sa decantation, ang sagol nga wala mabalda kung ang mga sangkap gibubo gibu, o, o gibulag, gibulag na to, to ang dilik na sok na substance, mahimong makuha pinaagi sa pag-scoop gamit ang usaka kutsara o kini mahimong makuha pinaagi sa hinay nga pag-bubo. Okay, mauna siya yung meaning sa decontation. Okay, pwede ni mo mabulag ang mixture using uh, the spoon, katong scooping using spoon, or by slowly pouring out the less dense substance, or slowly or hinay nga pagbukbo sa katong dili na dasok na substance. Okay, pariha at mud and water. 
So, gi, gi set aside man to nato nga undisturbed. Dili na to siya disturb for how many minutes. So, mo motidlo man tong mud at to no or katong lapok. So, may mo na nato siyang ibubo o kinahinay sa another container. Katong tubig mo na to siya ang less than substance or mo to siyang gitawak nga di ka na dili na siya dasok nga substance. So, mauto siya atong ibubo sa another container para ma-separate ni mo ang mixture in the process of decantation. Okay. So, unsa man tong mga uh, uban pa nga mga example sa decantation, ang isa, letter A, oil and water. Para ganina sa akong example katong oil and water. So, we can also use decantation in separating the oil in water. And also, letter B, gasoline in water. Pwede na to siya gamitan of decantation. Letter C, sinigang with floating fats. Pwede na to siya gamitan of decantation. Paano na to? Dili man siya pwede mabukbo ang sinigang with floating fats. Di na to pwede ibukbo ang floating fats sa another container kay basig mauban po itong mga sabaw o katong mga, mga sahog ni mo sa paglutog sinigang. So, ang sa gamiton, we're going to scoop using a spoon. Ka scoop, scoop na to itong kuan children, katong fats, gamit ang kutsara para makuha na to itong mga floating fats sa pagluto ni mother o ni mama o sinigang. Okay? Letter D, Mud and water. Explain na na ko kaganina. Okay, dari na ta. So, what is it? What is the direction? Read the following sentences. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Okay, number one. Decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. This is the answer. It is true. Number two, in the process of decantation, the mixture is less disturbed. Answer is false. In the process of decantation, the mixture is less disturbed. Okay, dilik yun na siya dapat uh, na to isturbohon, no? Kani less lang man good ang disturb, so gina disturb niya, pero dapat dire sa decantation, Dili yun na nato siya i-disturb. Okay. Undisturbed yun dapat dere sa process na decantation. Number three. We use decantation method in separating the fruit salad mixtures. Okay. Ma, pwede ba nato gamiton ang decantation when we are going to separate the fruit salad? Of course, the answer is false. Kaya ang, pag, ang gamit lang na ito nga method in separating the fruit salad mixture kay picking. Kaya pwede man na ito tumapunit o mga kuan ang mga sagol ni Adto. Okay, number four. Oil in water could be removed using the decantation technique. The answer is true. Kaya katong oil in water. Pwede dyan na kay siya ma gamitan na to og technique na decantation ang oil and water. Number 5. Decantation is used in removing oil or gasoline from an oil spill. Answer is true. Pwede siya. Pwede na to gamitan og decantation. Okay, next. Okay, so what's more? Direction. Study the following mixtures till whether they can be separated through decantation method. Write yes or no on the blank provided for. Okay. Kuan daw ni siya ang direction ani kung ang mga choices kay gigamita na to og decantation decantation method. Ang atong answer kay yes. Kay usa tan-aw ninyo wala nagamit og decantation method. No ang i-answer. Okay, number 1. Gasoline in water. Of course, the answer is yes. Number two, arroz caldo soup. The answer is no. Dilit po di ang arroz caldo soup kay dense man kaayo ang ihang substance ang ihang mixture. 
Bali di bulak juga makita di tuna liquid kai more on sa arus kaldo solid so katung rice katung kanun nga gisagol sa arus kaldo more makita di kaya na to makuan ang ang sabaw ni ato no siya spaghetti of course no dilip man na to mapour dilip man na to mabukbo ang mixture sa spaghetti kay dense kaayo pud ang kaninga mixture number 4 sinigang with floating fats of course yes kay mao man ato sa isa ka sample dito ka ganina sinigang with floating fats yes the contention judicia number 5 ice cream no number 6 fruit salad no kay peking siya 7 oil in water of course yes Okay, oil in water is also an example of decantation method. Eight, lugaw. Lugaw is somewhat different from uh, lugaw and arroz caldo. No. Gino siya. Kay paros palipariha raman siya sa arroz caldo, no? Number nine, bat choy or bat choy. No. Number ten, tinulang manok. Of course, no. Okay, so let's go to what I have learned. Copy and complete the paragraph by supplying the missing word in the blank. Write your answer in a piece of paper. I learned that decantation is a technique used in separating less dense from a dense one in the process of decantation the mixture is left undisturbed so dili ni mo siya dapat disturbuhon ang mixture para ang dense mahimo siya less dense when the components are separated the less dense substance could be removed by scooping using a spoon or it can be removed by slowly Pouring out the less dense substance. Okay. So, I hope this is the totally explanation of about decantation. So, maani siya, no? So, I hope na nasabta ninyo kung unsa ning decantation. Okay. What I can do? Read the following situation below. Write your answer in a piece of paper. Number one, an oil spill is one of the environmental problems that occur in the bodies of water. What method of separating mixtures can be used in order to solve this problem? You can use decantation. How can you apply the decantation method in your everyday living? Okay. So, one of an example of decantation being used in our daily living is cleaning rice before cooking. Okay, so maoni siyang isa ka mga uh, ginabuhaton or mahimo na tong ginabuhat sa ato ang adlaw-adlaw nga panginabuhi ang paglungag sa kanon. Example na siya sa decantation class ha. So, ang pag Lungag sa kanon, ang proses sa paglungag sa kanon, maunay isa sa example sa decantation. Kaya di ba, uh, imo pa man ang ilimpyuhan ang rice. So, imo pa ng, si tawag anang paglimpyo, oy, kanang, basta limpyuhan ni mo ang rice using water. Tapos, imo nang kumot-kumot ang rice ana. Tapos, ang katung tubig, Ato ana siya hinahinayon o pur imuhang ibubo o hinay para dili maapil ang bugas o kahulog. Katurang tubig ang mahulog o mayabo. So, mauna siya class ang decantation. Okay? So, think of another example class sa decantation sa inyong everyday living na mahimu ninyo sa inyong kanang partner sa inyong mga buluhaton sa balay. Okay, isa man ni siya. So, pwede mo ako po na inyong i-answer. Okay? Kung naapa mo yung lain answer. Pwede nyo isulat niya. Okay, next. Okay, let's go to assessment. Direction. 
choose the correct answer in its number. Write your answer using your, your paper. Number 1. Which of the following mixtures can be separated using the cantation method? A. Sugar and milk. B. Water and oil. C. Mixed nuts. D. Vegetable salad with dressing. Correct answer is, of course, water in oil. That is also one of the examples in the method of decantation. Number two, your mother asked you to cook dried fish for lunch and you accidentally mixed the oil with water. What method will you use to separate the mixture? Letter A, decantation method, B, magnetism, C, evaporation, and D, filtering. Okay, ang imong mama, gi sugo ka nga mag magluto ka o dried fish or ka ng bulad para sa inyong pani, paniudto. O, accidentally, nasagol ni mo ang oil sa tubig. Okay, unsa nga method ang imong buhaton para ma-separate ni mo ang mixture? Okay, you can use decantation method. Number three, which one of the following techniques would best be used to separate soil and water? A. Filtration B. Distillation C. Decanting D. Cro chromatography The answer is Soil and water It is distillation Soil and water Okay, so, kanisya diri a children, morag duda ko aniba, separate uh, soil and water. Pwede ninyo na gamiton ang decanting children, kay amo man ni ang atong lesson. So, dili na siya distillation na answer class, it is decanting, no, decanting kay, pag gisagol man ni mo ang, ang soil o ang water, pwede ni mo siya gagamiton o Pwede po siya sa filtration pero the best answer for this is decanting because this is our lesson for today. This is our topic. So, the correct answer for this is decanting. Delicia distillation na it is decanting. Okay. So, i-correct lang please kay kanang murag sa distillation na butang. So, decanting siya ka children na number 3. Number three is decanting. Number four, this method is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. A. Evaporation. B. Decantation. C. Peaking. D. All of the above. The answer is decantation. Number five, what will happen to the less dense substance of mixtures if you separate them using decantation method? A. It will evaporate. B. It will float up. C. Remain the same. D. It will become solid. Answer is, it will float up. Number 6. In the process of decantation, the mixture is left, letter A, behind, B. Undisturbed, C. Removed, D. None of the above. Of course, in the process of decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. Number seven. How can decantation method be useful to everyday life? A. It helps us to become more productive. B. It gives us satisfaction to our everyday living. C. It's just an ordinary technique. And D. It helps us to make our everyday living more efficient and easier. The correct answer is letter D. It helps us to make our everyday living more efficient and easier. Number eight. Is decantation method applicable to all types of mixture? A. Yes. B. No. C. Maybe. D. Sometimes. Answer is no. Delete. Delete. Tanan 
mixture applicable sa method na decantation. Okay, number 9 and 10. Give two examples of mixtures that can be separated through decantation method. So, upat yata tong example na to ganina, no? So, duha lang ang ipangayo, class. Okay, the answer is water and oil. Maha Magpili lang mo diri class ha, kung naani siyang upat o naani siyang out of four na ang duha. So, check gihapon. Water and oil, gasoline and water, mud and water, then sinigang with floating fats. Kung duha, kung, kung out of four na ay duha kabuok na tama ang answer niya diri, check na siya. Okay, so additional activities. Explain how this mixture can be separated through decantation. Write your answer in a piece of paper, in a paragraph form. Okay, so, ato, ako anaman tong na-explain sa inyo dito, children, no? Kung, kung sa'y nahitabo sa oil and water. So, mo ni siya, mixture of oil and water. So, pwede ninyo ni kamo na ang mag-answer any children, ha? So, pwede ra po, in a paragraph form, pwede po ninyo ma-answer into uh, two or five or three to five sentences. Okay. Pwede ninyo na diya answer Okay, muna siyang additional activities ninyo. Thank you, children. I hope you learned from our discussion today. Thank you so much. Until next time, and don't forget to subscribe to support my video tutorial. Goodbye and God bless.